Hi guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. Um, haven't done a video in a long time because you know what, technical issues when you don't have a cameraman and you have to film everything yourself. It's always not easy and uh, half of the time I'm always tired anyways. So, but today I've improvised. Um, so today I decided what better to do than to continue introducing myself, of course. And the next video is going to be about... It's gonna be my Ugandan tag, yes. For those who don't know, I am a Ugandan vlogger. My name is Robin Kisti, yes. So um, today I'm gonna to do the Ugandan tag video. And um, you know, you guys will get to know a little bit about where I come from, what my country is about. So of course, we're gonna start off with what actually is my Ugandan name. My Ugandan name is Robina Namboze. Namboze is the African name. And uh, one thing about our country is like uh, most countries, of course, uh, you have the family name. Let's say, for example, Smith or whatever. But uh, Namboze is my specific name. It's not my dad's name. So my dad is Sevume, but I didn't take on my dad's name like other cultures do. So for us in Uganda, everybody has their own local name, um, according to the tribe you're from. So, uh, which leads me, of course, to the next question, what tribe am I? I am a Muganda, which is the predominant tribe. Um, I'm a Muganda, I speak Luganda, and of course, I am from Uganda. It's so crazy, right? Ugandan, speak Luganda, and I am a Muganda. Yes, so that's some something cool. Um, of course, I speak it. Um, so for the Ugandans who understand, of course, that was just a greeting saying, uh, how is everyone doing? My name is Robina Namboze. However, my, of course, my stage name and uh, for those, you know, TV name is Robin Kisti. I am a TV presenter and I did present in Uganda on TV for four years, I'm currently living in the United States. But I represent Uganda everywhere I go, so I, that's why this video is really important to me, the Ugandan tag, because I want the whole world to get to know about my country, where I come from, because I'll always represent Uganda. Um, if you like my outfit, actually what I'm wearing right now is what they call a kitenji. Well, Kitenji comes from different countries. It's other, uh, West African countries have it. African countries have it. If it's, I mean, East African countries have it. So this Kitenji, actually, this particular one, I bought when I was out in Nigeria. Um, I bought it in Nigeria, and then I brought it to Uganda. My uncle, um, Uncle Baku, made me this dress. Actually, I used to wear this dress when I was still pregnant. It's still a bit loose, but it needs to be a little tighter because I like tight things. But I just thought I should wear it so you can know, you know, this is African. It's African wear. If you like the print, you better go check it out. It's African wear. Um, next question. Um, of course, um, I'm a Muganda. Um, what do I like most about my country, Uganda? Wow. There's so many things to like about Uganda. But what I love most is the climate. The weather is beautiful. The food, guys. Just talking about the food right now makes me like saliva it. <laughs> we have really good food. It's organic food. Um, most of the food is grown in the garden. Um, of course, um, we export a lot of food. Our staple food is, of course, matoke, which I love very much. Um, my mom, if she hasn't eaten matoke, she's like, I haven't eaten any food. So for her, like matoke is food. Matoke is life. Uh, I love matoke too. However, here in America, we can't really get the matoke from Uganda. We get the matoke from um, from Ecuador. We get matoke from Mexico. We get all these different green banana, but it's not exactly the actual matoke from Uganda. But the people in London are lucky enough that they actually get the actual matoke from Uganda, from a garden in Uganda. Oh my guys, the best food, guys. Fruits, their fruits are really fresh. Everything is just so beautiful. The food is nice. And let me tell you, the people are really hospitable. Um, I would say you kind of people, we're happy people. I mean, I'm a happy person. I'm always smiling, crazy person, yes. But uh, not all Ugandans are crazy like me, but uh, I think I'm the exception, right? Well, I guess um, we have clans. So I'm, I'm a Muganda, Bagandas, we have clans, and my clan is the Kobe clan, K-O-B-E, Kobe clan. So, and they say, particularly people from the Kobe clan are like crazy, especially people who have my name, Namboze, oh my God. Yeah, apparently, I guess I took over that name because I'm crazy. 
no i'm not crazy i'm just fun yes i'm a girl from the kobe clan and uh you know i just love our culture because we have so many things that i can't even go into right now like i can't tell you where the clans and tribes came from but just know we have so many different kings we have the kavaka who is the king of buganda kingdom so we have different kingdoms we have the busoga bunyoro different ones so i can go into all of that but um that's a little bit about my tribe um kabaka rona dimu wenda mutebi awangali so what's a job oh my god yes what's the next question i speak luganda that was the next question what language do i speak i speak luganda which i spoke to you earlier um so is the and the next question is what do ugandans do that other cultures don't do so one thing that I really think other cultures don't do, um, so for example, in Uganda we have this relation thing whereby your like your dad's sister is what well, we say senga, your aunt is your senga, and um, the kids of your senga, who is your dad's sister, those kids call you mom. So I have my dad's sister's kids call me mom. That's in our culture in Uganda. Technically in English they're my cousins. But in Luganda culture, Baganda culture, that those are your kids, apparently. So my, my Senga's kids, who are even older than me, call me mom. It's pretty strange, but yes, that, that happens. Um, we have a traditional wedding. We do what they call a traditional wedding, which is a kwanjula, the traditional wedding. And uh, in the kwanjula, that same auntie, and the Senga, is the one actually. So there's this part whereby you know they're introducing the bride so it's the senga who comes to answer to the dad um to say okay uh, my daughter found a guy i mean the bagandas you know how this goes but for those who are not ugandan maybe you should look up like kwanjula on youtube i'm sure you probably see like it's a it's a beautiful ceremony we wear all the gomesi the traditional wear the dress is called gomesi and then we have the kanzu which the guy wears so, um, oh my God, the culture has so much and I can't wait until I wear my busuti and uh, for my kwanjula. Yes, please God, give me the kwanjula because I really want to do one, a traditional wedding. It will be so much fun. Um, that's something um, that I think that Ugandans do that not everyone else does. Um, so what else, what else, what else can I tell you about Uganda? Uh, Uganda actually um, it has the source of the Nile for those who don't know. Uganda has the source of the Nile. That's the source. It's where it started from and it goes all the way into the other countries. Uh, we have one of the biggest lakes in the world, Lake Victoria. So Uganda is surrounded by a lot of water. For those who haven't, you know, been to Uganda for tourism, it's such a beautiful tourism, you know, destination. We have so much beautiful scenery. So um, some of you who have never seen it, you can even easily see it on YouTube. Just go and see Uganda safaris. We have so many animals that you can, you know, see. We have chimpanzee tracking. There's so much to do if you were to go to Uganda. There's so much. Um, so another funny thing about Uganda. Um, I am 30 years old right now. And ever since I was born, we've had one president. Yeah. I had to give it a pause right there. I had to give it a pause, guys. Yes, 30 years. I'm 30 years, and I've seen one president. And, you know, it's not it's not cute. But, oh, well, Uganda is such a beautiful country. If you ever want to travel, travel to Uganda. Um, let's see. Um, the, we have so many different tribes in Uganda, guys. Like, I can't even, like, tell you how many they are because there's so many you know um then in uganda we have this other cool thing that we eat but people wear it on their on their arm it's a watch a rolex watch where we have what they call a rolex uh it's food it's like chapati and eggs so chapati is like how do i even explain it's like pita bread and then you put like an egg in it and then they roll it around and then you eat it so they call it a rolex we call it a rolex i don't know why but it's called a rolex and another fun food to eat is chikomando chikomando is basically uh chapati again with beans fried beans that's like some of my favorite food i don't know like i really love eating chikomando i love eating rolex um you know you know when you're you're a ghetto girl you like to eat street food yes i eat street food when i go to uganda i love it so much so yeah um i mean there's so many so much i could tell you about uganda i could go on and on and on and on and on 
but I, I you know there's not enough time there's not enough time so yes um, my name is Robin Kisti aka Robin Anamboze um, thank you for watching my YouTube channel thank you for all the people who have subscribed keep subscribing I promise you guys I'm gonna be bringing you more videos I'm a TV presenter or an actress or whatever by profession so you know there's so many projects that I'm gonna be doing uh, so keep watching the Ugandan girl Robin Kisti and I'll be back with more videos I love you guys have a good day Mwah. see you next time